you see these two pieces of corn? The one in my right hand is non-GMO. The one in my left hand is genetically engineered. Both were put into bags of corn in a workroom and the mice broke into separate bags. They just took a nibble from one of the kernels of this and never came back to eat it and they devoured the non-GMO corn. Now we've seen this with squirrels, geese, elk, deer, raccoons, mice, rats, buffalo, chickens. Somehow they know, what is it about this corn that would make them not want to eat it? Well, if it's genetically engineered as most corn is, it produces an insecticide called BT toxin, which can poke holes in insects' guts to kill them, and it was found to cause damage to the intestines of mice and rats and also human cells. Also, it's sprayed with Roundup herbicide, which is linked to all sorts of diseases and disorders, and also it's genetically engineered, and that too is problematic. So it might have more formaldehyde in it, it might have more of a, of a gamazine, which is a new allergen found in GM uh, corn and not others. It might have more uh, putrescine and cadaverine if it's Roundup Ready corn, which is linked to the rotting smell of dead bodies, <laughs> as well as bad breath and allergies and cancer. There's a lot of reasons why the rats didn't, or the mice in this case, did not choose to eat the Roundup Ready and BT toxin uh, corn, but did eat the regular corn. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can get humans up to the level of animals so that if we don't have the sixth sense, let's find out what's wrong with this corn, why we shouldn't eat it, what we can tell others about it, and how is it that this dangerous stuff got on the market?